When you're chasing greatness, just remember, it's not about what you say, it's about what you do. Hey, what's up guys? It's the Nightwing at Way of Life Esports coming at you guys with another League of Legends video here today. And uh, every single team that didn't have a chance to uh, qualify for the 2020 World Championship, well, they are going to start rebuilding their uh, League of Legends rosters. And if you guys want to be covered on all the off-season news, you are going to want to be subscribed to this channel because I am covering all the off-season news just like I did in 2018, 2019, and now in 2020. All the off-season news will be covered by me and including the rumors. So let's go over one of the first pieces of off-season news because teams that didn't qualify for the 2020 World Championship, all they have is time to think about what they could do to improve their roster. And it starts with Immortals. Immortals drops Alltech, Gate, Soaz, Aka, and Coach go to one from LCS roster so back when immortals put together their roster for the uh, lcs 2020 spring split they got a lot of criticism uh for aka and zabutin obviously zabutin took a big majority of criticism because he gave the uh, position to aika a lot of people actually thought that other NA mids could have gotten that spot and aika was pretty bad all things considered then you had all tech uh who was pretty underwhelming. Like, he had some okay games, nothing to stand out. Uh, I don't know why people consistently try to recycle Gate as a support. I haven't seen any good play out of him, really, as a support. You know, he was a mid laner on Team Impulse for, like, the regional qualifier back in 2015. But other than that, right when he switched to support, I still haven't seen much out of this player yet. Uh, so counting those two players, it's just like, I'm not seeing much out of them. Now, so as, uh, you know, he should have been, like, the impact of the top lane, you know. But it seems like they built Immortals for Soaz and not building around Soaz, you know. Building around Soaz could have, like, opened his playstyle up a little bit more. Because in spring, I actually thought he was relatively a top four, top five top laner. He wasn't that bad in spring. But when it came to the uh, 2020 LCS summer split, when Immortals went, like, 0-4, it just was all bad. You know, and Aka was worse than Ryoma. So that should go to show you uh, Immortals were not going to be doing anything. Like, it was literally that bad. Now, uh, Coach go to one. I'm not really sure what his resume is like. But what I'll say is changing out cons like coaches consistently, I don't know what that really fixes because I'm not really in the scene like that. But I guess if, if they feel like he didn't do a good job. So let's read the rest of this. After a disappointing year, Immortals has started to rebuild its LCS and Academy rosters by dropping four players from its starting lineup and releasing Coach go to one the League of Legends team announced that it's dropping veteran top laner Soaz, ADC Altex, support Gate, and mid laner Aka while wishing them luck uh, moving forward with their careers. There are there were many questions uh, surrounding Immortals roster this year and the decisions that led them to switching around players throughout the season. And then they put out a uh, tweet on their official Twitter for Immortals. Today we are announcing the release of Altec, Soaz, Aka and Gate. I just kind of want to see what people said. <laughs> Here come the Soaz fanboys. I don't get releasing Soaz, by the way. You just built a shit roster, but it doesn't mean some of the pieces weren't good. Having Xmithian and Soaz as your clutch engage, it sounds good. You just need a, you just needed a superstar mid or AD. Okay, Soaz wants a year off. He put out a statement. That's true. That's true. I'll be getting to that in just a moment. Uh, meanwhile, you keep Apollo and Hakuo. Hope you enjoy finishing at the bottom of the standings again in spring, lol. Yep, that's true. That is also true. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, this is me right now. Your boy just passed 100 followers. Really, really, uh, getting up there. Shameless plug right there. Uh, but overall, you could, I can already tell who their starting top laner will be. It'll be Alorum and Xmithy will be their jungler. I can already see their roster right now, if I'm being completely honest here. It's gonna be Alorum, Xmithy, Insanity, Apollo, and Hakuo. You can already tell what their roster is going to be. 
because of the uncertainty around the roster, the lack of synergy combined with lackluster performances made for disappointing results. The team finished in eighth place during the 2020 LCS Spring Split and dropped to last place in the summer with an abysmal 4 and 14 record. Now, Immortals is left with Apollo and Hakuho in the bottom lane, Insanity in the mid lane, Alarm in the top lane, and both Xmithy and Pollock in the jungle. It's unknown if Insanity will be the team's starting mid laner or if the org will sign another player to take over the role. It's uh, also unknown if Xmithy will be sticking with the team after being relegated to Immortals Academy squad last split. The seven year pro might want to start. Uh, from another LCS team next year and could opt for a transfer to another roster. This also leaves the team without a head coach. It will be imperative for this organization to pick up a good leader for this squad moving forward into a new year if they want to uh, reverse their fortunes in 2021. So if, if Smithy, who had a pretty big contract, uh, goes to another team, I'm not surprised. But I can kind of already tell what their roster would be without Xmithy. You know, Alorum, Insanity, Apollo, and Hakuo. They would just need a decent coach and a serviceable jungler. They might just end up playing Potluck, if I'm being completely honest here. You know, I don't know as of yet. But if you are a Immortals fan, there is the Immortals news for you. Cold retires from pro play. So, the last time we heard from Cold was when he was on Origin and he couldn't play the very last series uh, that Origin had in the regional qualifier for their last chance to make it to Worlds against Splice. They never really gave a reason why he had to stop playing. Like, we just don't know. But today, it was announced that Cold retires from Pro League play. will primarily be looking at coaching positions in the LEC slash LCS. After stepping down and taking a hiatus from Pro League of Legends play last summer, European jungler Cold said today he'll be officially retiring from competitive play to focus more on his building coaching career. Okay, the 25-year-old veteran last played competitive League of Legends with Origin during the 2019 LEC summer split, where he struggled with health issues that forced him to sit out of the regional gauntlet that year. He was eventually released from the team, and he decided to take an indefinite break to focus on his health. And then he put out today, why I stepped down last summer and the start of a new chapter for me. All right, so I'll read that in just a moment. And so if you guys are wondering what happened to Colt, well, he's retiring from pro play. I kind of just want to get to the point where he, like, said why he retired. It was always a big mystery why. I know it's been a while, but since I'm looking to return to the scene... I wanted to bring some clarity to why I had to step down last summer. Long story short, during the summer, I started dealing with severe physical symptoms uh, from stress. And it got to the point where stepping down was the only situation to retain my health. I have spent the last year fully focusing on recovering, thus why my absence from social media. When life hits you in the face, it definitely changes the way you view certain aspects of life. And... I will be lying if the last year has been easy, but it has definitely taught me some very important lessons. As for the future, I have decided to officially retire from playing and start a new chapter of my life. I will primarily be looking at coaching positions in the LEC slash LCS, but I'm open to any interest in collaborating with me. So feel free to reach out and discuss further uh, with the knowledge and experience I have, I feel very confident that I can be a great asset to any team. I really feel appreciated. Uh, all the people reaching out to me throughout last year read all my messages and can't thank people enough for going out of their way and wishing me a speedy recovery. Well, I'm glad you got better cold and I am so happy you feel better. So it really goes to show these players go through uh, a lot of stress while being a pro. That's crazy. All right, so... Cold is retired from pro play. Uh, you had a pretty up and down career, but hey, at least you had one. That's more than I can say from a lot of people. All right, League of Legends veteran Solas to take a year-long hiatus from competitive play. Immortals terminated the contracts of Soaz, Altec, and Gay and Ika, along with Coach Goto One earlier today. Following a lackluster year for the LCS team, they failed to make the playoffs in either spring or summer, and came in last in the summer. In his tweet, Soaz said, 
The past two years have taken a toll on me, citing the recent global pandemic, keeping him in a foreign country as one of the key reasons for a decline in his mental health. He also mentioned the idea of potentially returning to the scene in a coaching capacity, saying he has had countless discussions with people over the years, telling me that I could be a good coach and that we could possibly see his coaching debut when he returns. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. So he's pretty much implying that he's also retiring. That's pretty much it. You know, uh, let's see what his TLDR says. So as next chapter, the last two years have taken a have taken quite a toll on me, especially uh, this one with being a quarantine for five months in a foreign country and being away from everything. Even though I believe I can still compete at the top level, I think it's for the better that I make the decision to take a year off from playing. It's honestly exciting for me to think about coaching players, theory crafting, and being more involved with the staff. Uh, I've had countless discussions with people over the years telling me that I could be a good coach, and I think now is a good time to give it a fair try. I will see if I want to return as a player in 2022 or if I want to continue my coaching career. Merci pour tout dire. <laughs> so that's pretty much him uh, basically saying he's retiring because NA is so bad. But that wasn't obviously NA's fault. We had a pandemic because that's just, those are things in life you just can't control. But see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing and Way of Life Esports is signing out, guys. See you later. Peace. Hi you guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>